are you an self-professed art lover? Uh, like, is that something that you talk, know Alice Walton and talk or on board? I'm a, or anything? Alice is a very dear friend. Okay. We go to dinner, we visit. We've been close friends from way, way back. I mean, we go back, way back with uh, Johnny and okay. horseback riding okay. together. Yeah, wow. we'd go to her place and ride horses, or she would come to ours and just. She and Johnny used to go to lunch all the time. They went to lunch and talked about hmm. their cattle and the horses. Now, I didn't go to lunch with them uh, during the week. Okay. Now, the weekends I be, could be with them, but on, during the week, I was too busy trying to collect money at J.B. Hunt Transport. Uh -huh. But I didn't have time to go for Calling people about their I was trying bills, to collect yeah. the money yeah. and keep that place going while he had lunch <laughs> with Alice. So we've had a lot of jokes about that. But, um, and, and I am so thankful for people like Alice. My daughter is very much into art. Okay. My daughter loves art, and she has beautiful art of her own, and she would, by painting her off a pair of shoes, you know. Yeah. But they are, and I truly admire people like that. I am not um, that's that um, intelligent about art. Mm -hmm. I like what I see, I know what I like, but I don't know as much about art as I should and mm -hmm. would like to, and I do love to go to Crystal Bridges and look at it. But I feel like everybody plays their own part mm -hmm. in what they're doing. And so she did Crystal Bridges, which is Fabulous, and then I did something like uh, my children and I uh, built this our new cemetery at Pinnacle Hills mm -hmm. Memorial Gardens. That was our gift in Northwest Arkansas, and of course theirs is much larger. But it's like we we all play different parts in what we do here. Mm -hmm. Everybody plays different parts. Our football team draws the crowds for one thing and something else for another. So that's what's so good about this area is that we do all play different parts, and we all give so many different things to this. And uh, just like I think Pinnacle Hills Memorial Gardens is a big, uh, a great thing for Northwest Arkansas because it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's like gardens. We have a pretty chapel there. And it's for all people. Anyone can be buried in our cemetery. We do not exclude any, okay. anyone from it. And uh, so we felt like that that was something that we could do. If you have a couple more minutes, uh, a couple more questions. Mm -hmm. um, Tyson has a, a foundation. Wal Walton family always has a foundation. Do you all have a foundation, or are there any? What's the calculation when it comes to creating a foundation? You know, that's just everyone for what they feel like is right, and we do not have a foundation. Right. We've never, we've talked about it. I've talked to the, my tax people about it, and we've talked about it. And it just hasn't been the thing that I've done yet. I won't say that I want in the future. I don't know, but it's kind of like that. I just am the one that's involved in it. Okay. I'm the one that makes the decision. Of course, I talk to my children and all, but um, I'm the one that decides should we do this or should we not. And yet, the foundations, I really think that's great that they have them and they have get the best people they can to manage their foundations and they give so much and do so much. Mm -hmm. And I'm not opposed to a foundation and I won't say that it's something I'll look at again. I look mm -hmm. at it ever so often. But when it comes back to it, I just. I'm so busy with other things. I guess I don't get around to doing that one. And, and you're and you're a founder too, so you're and you're still just, here. You're still I'm operating. Still doing, I'm yeah. still operating it myself, and exactly. it's just that, like I said, a lot of things come up that I think, well, I should maybe look at that and do it. Mm -hmm. But I'm so busy day to day, just mm -hmm. to day to day with with all the things that we have to do and mm -hmm. the challenges we have that we work constantly and. Then I go home at night and rest a little and go again. Well, I'll let you out with, with this one. You, we were talking about your, your daughter loving art, Alice loving art. I, I imagine you're familiar with Mike the disc farmer, the photographer. Oh, yes. Did, was, Am I ever? Was he operating when you were a child? Well, yeah, of course. There? So, of course. so did you know a lot? He was the first, first photographer I ever knew of in my life because really? he was in Heber Springs, of course. Wow. And my lens have been in his studio. And okay. we have pictures from there and all. Mm -hmm. And I um, have a picture of my sister. She was taking tap dancing lessons, and wow. he took that. And I can see it just, I mean, it's just as vivid in my memory as what that place looked like, huh. what his place looked like. It was very um, plain, okay. you know. You can see from his pictures what it is. And it's amazing. And those people that, if you, if you see his book yeah. with all the black and white uh -huh. pictures, well, I know people in that book. You, know, you, know. you probably know most of them, right? Their and my sister even had some of the pictures that she gave for them to, to use for that book. She wow. had some of those pictures. and okay. um, But we knew him, and um, he, um, it was just that 
concrete wall that you stood in front of hmm. and everything. Yes, that was all my growing up days, you know. My, ch my from the time I can remember, no he was there. He was, he was the town he photographer. Was, he was the town photographer. He was the main one. That's yeah. all it was. Did, yes, the only one. Did you have any inkling, you or your parents at the time, that this guy was creating what would later be considered great art? No, any no, point? he didn't. He was just the one that, yeah. and you know, as kids, he was not a, an outgoing person, anyone okay. that you really knew. So it was almost that little bit of a, I almost, I hate to say it, but almost a little bit of a standoffish fear, you know, of this man that okay. you didn't really get to he's, know. He was from the North, too, right? He was from, yes, from he, yeah, yeah, he was. So we were, yeah, but he, he never, he was kind of a, uh, a stayed alone more. I okay. mean, he wasn't just out and about in the community all the time. Huh. Just to kind of, but good gracious, who would think? Who would think that those pictures made in Hebrew Springs yeah. would ever become what they are? And so you have a photo of yourself by this woman? I don't, I don't know if I do. My sister does. My, sister? There was my sister did, okay. and I can remember going there and see. I don't know if I have one. If my mother had one, of oh, all yeah. of us there, huh. but he was the only photographer we had forever. Yeah, for so long, you know, till so, I was older. So has has there been any discussion of bringing some of those photos into the uh, Crystal Bridges or or even know. into your office? I don't know. I've never even thought. Never about thought it. about that. I've got the book. Okay. I've got the book. So, yeah. Well. And those people that are in the book are the people that were raised, Johnny grew up with, mm -hmm. out in the county. That those are the people that are in the book that he grew up with. And you just see the the pose of the way that they did then. Yeah, I can just see them right here, just as vivid the pose that they did. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, we can just go through the book and give us the background on each. Yeah. <laughs>